Hey everyone, Ariel Adams with the blog to watch and today I'm going to review the new Tissot PRX. This is a new collection from 2021, but the PRX comes originally from the year 1978 when Tissot originally released the PRX. And what they did is release a quartz model at the time because that was what was hot. And the PRX is coming out not only as a new quartz model, but an automatic because people want both these days. But the reason that Tissot came out with the quartz model to begin with is because of the heritage. Now, I'm going to talk about this watch as it is appropriate for people just getting into watches. There's a lot of people who are collectors, seasoned collectors, who are going to enjoy this, but Tissot specifically, in my opinion, is trying to appeal to someone who's just getting into watch collecting and wants a watch with real culture and real heritage that's nicely made, but this comes in at an under $400 price point. That's a big deal. So let's take a look at this. It comes in three different models. I'm wearing the black one, there's the silver one. And there's also a blue one, which is a really nice watch as well, but I only have two hands. Okay, so the PRX is 40 millimeters wide and it's just a hair over 10 millimeters thick. But Tissot does a really good job of making the watch feel thin uh, given the way that the watch is designed. It also doesn't look too small on the wrist. Some people feel that 40 millimeters is too small. Some people feel it's too big. For me, it's a medium size, but it wears large. Why? Because of the integrated bracelet construction creates lugs, which are a little bit more on the broad side. But it looks really cool how the steel case integrates with the bracelet. And that's one of the things I believe Tissot did really well with the PRX. It's getting a bracelet that feels a lot more high-end than the cost that the watch is. In fact, the entire watch is really nicely finished and Tissot was very, very proud of the fact. They said, look how good we're getting these finishes, contrast polishes, flat surfaces, brush surfaces on a watch at this price point. And you really need to know watches to appreciate it. That's why I said it's such a good watch at a low price point because most of the people just starting out wouldn't know that this is as well done as it is. Now the movement inside of the watch is an Eta made quartz movement. It's very, very precise and I really like how at least on, on, on the models we've seen, the seconds hand pretty well lines up with the, the indicators. That's a big deal and something I always look at in quartz watches. It has an end of life indicator, which means that after about 55 to maybe 70 months, when the battery eventually dies, the seconds hand starts to skip a few sections and that tells you that you need to replace the battery. So it's not a new feature, but it's something in there. The watch is water resistant to 100 meters and it has a sapphire crystal, which again are nice features at this price point. And you can see how elegantly it wears on the wrist. This again is the black dial version. And I feel that even though it's a dressy watch, it's still pretty legible. In fact, the dial of the PRX is probably the most classic element to it and very much feels like sort of watches of the late 1970s. This is an era that, while is expressed by a lot of quartz watches, really began in the early 1970s with some of the Genta watches, with the Gerald Genta design watches that were coming out, like the, like the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, which started this trend of watches that sort of blended men's jewelry and timepieces. They were basically bracelet watches for men, and sometimes they're called integrated bracelet watches because it isn't really clear where the watch case ends and the bracelet begins. These are often typified by tapering bracelets, which is a big part of what makes the design look elegant on the wrist as the bracelet gets thinner. It's also more comfortable that way. So this is a classification of watches, of which there are many, from the really, really low end to the very, very high end and everything in between. Now in the sort of circa 2021, these types of integrated bracelet steel watches are extremely popular today. The reason they're so popular is because of the versatility. Well, what do I mean by that? They're kind of sporty, they're kind of dressy, they're casual, they work with a bunch of different types of outfits, they're very, very popular, and they also tend to be simple watches, meaning they just tell the time, which makes them convenient and comfortable to wear, and oftentimes worry-free. So this is a trend of watches that I believe is here to stay. Some people will call it a men's jewelry bracelet watch which is totally okay because that's what it is even though a lot of them have um, you know more masculine functional designs most watches out there that are sport watches have some type of a heritage in a purpose diving flying driving something like that but when it comes to watches like this they were designed to be nice first 
as well as good watches and sort of fit into a lifestyle. And again, because most people today don't need a watch, especially for driving, that's why a versatility of something like a Tissot PRX comes in. As I said, the introductory models are 40 millimeters wide with a silver dial, a black dial, or a blue dial. The Tissot PRX in quartz has a retail price of $375, and you can see more on a blog2watch.com. Don't forget to like this video if you found it useful, subscribe to our channel, and hit the little bell to be notified of our upcoming videos. Thanks.